Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike. It's Dan. Would you like to come back from the dead? No, I wouldn't. No? No. I'm, I'm the firm believer that uh, when you die, you're dead. Well, like, what if, keep it that what, way. well, let me ask you. Yeah. Let me ask you. Real life situation, yeah. okay? He gets into a car accident. Yeah, I know where you're going with this. <laughs> she's brain dead, but she, her, her, she's still on a machine. She's hooked up. I think she... So she's technically right. dead. Right. I think for her, for any of my family members, I think that we kind of share the same uh, outlook, which uh -huh. is fate. If fate has it that you pass at a given time, you accept it. So I would accept it. Really? But if you're okay, but, but you're not in that situation. I'm thinking if you were in that situation, yeah, it might be you'd different. Be different because you'd be all sobbing, well, not coming down your face. No, no, no. That that's for sure. Yeah. But now you're asking, do you want to re? If I had the ability to reanimate someone, that's what I'm saying. Would I take it? it? I mean, you you might not want to come back. Yeah. She might not want to come back. Yeah. But would you? But she won't be in that situation to yeah. choose. Would you? Well, it's, Make a, her it's a great question because if you had the technology. Well, right now I'm saying no, mm -hmm. but how would I know, right? Like, yeah, how would I know, know right? Because you'd be in that situation, you're like, no. <laughs> well, you you wouldn't know either. I don't know. You don't know. I don't, I don't really care about anyone like that yet. I, I could just tell you based on principle. Besides my parents. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mark yeah. is heartless. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, like, like I, okay. Just based on principle, I could tell you, like, no, I, w I wouldn't want to reanimate somebody. I wouldn't want anyone to reanimate me. I'll tell you another reason too, and this is based on the creepy reason, okay? But this company, this UK company, is trying to is trying to develop technology that potentially one day, and they're not saying that, hey, we're, we're close or whatever, like nowhere near right. being able to reanimate someone. Um, so, but they want to start putting this to the test. They want to, what they call, push the envelope on this type of technology, because they feel that Mankind is at this point where we can start looking into technology that can potentially revive someone's brain So it's it's not quite like someone dies and you bring them back from dead. That's not what they're doing, right? If you're if you've been dead for a while It's not like you're magically gonna come out of your right, brain. Right. That's not what they're talking about. Right. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, no they're, they're, they're saying if because technically if the brain is dead. Yeah, that's how doctors would that's one of the reasons doctors would pronounce someone dead but there could be ways to resuscitate that. Yes, especially if their heart is hooked up to a, uh, a machine a, that a machine. keeps them alive. Yep. Which is what we know as um, this is, as um, being kept alive by machines. Like right, right. With the aid of machines right. or whatever, or brain dead. You mm -hmm. know, some you'd hear like, oh, that person is is a vegetable or whatever. So basically, they're on a hospital bed. They're in a coma. Yeah. Forever, yeah. In very rare instances, do they come out of the coma, right? right? But basically, their heart is being kept alive, and the, and the, now the family has such. This is all you. You're asking me about reanimation. Family has families have such a hard time just quote unquote pulling the plug when the person will probably won't ever come back. Even right. in that situation, right. they're like, they're like, you know what I'm saying? So now you're asking like, you you can make them come back for real. Most people will be like, heck yeah, but I'd be like, whoa, hold on a sec. Hold on a second here. Before you say, come on. Because the creep the creep factor for me is this, like, I I don't know what who You don't know what's coming back. Yeah, you don't know what thank you, you don't know what's coming back. Because you've seen one too many Night of the Living Dead. Yes, I, yes, I've seen one too many I've seen one too many movies, guys, and and I What's that movie? Sometimes they come back. Is that one of them too? Sometimes the movies called back. sometimes. I don't think yeah. there's any movie called sometimes. No, but there they is. Come back. Sometimes they come back. Never, no, I'm looking for you right never now. Never heard of sometimes that movie. They, how much you want to bet? Okay. So if there's a movie called that, it oh, is. Oh, 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 oh! All right, who's in it? Sometimes they come back. Who's in it? It's a no-name uh, movie. Psh, no name. No I'll name show movie. You no name. N there's uh, no actor in there. Tim Matheson. No one knows. You're not a fan of him. No one knows that. Nicholas Sanders. Yeah, that. Bro, that's a yo, that's a straight that to was VHS like, that, movie. Yo, that was the Tom Cruise of the '90s, man. Yeah, Tim Matheson. <laughs> I can't even believe that movie got a rating, dude. Like on on Rotten Tomatoes, that literally sounds like one of those made-for-television movies. Yo, Sometimes don't knock it. Back. It's awesome. Because Pet Cemetery. <laughs> well, this technology. So first of all, we're 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 pretty far now. But what if, what if in the next 50 years, 80 years, in our lifetimes? they're able to do something like that. 
Well, I mean, look, they're right now trying to tackle the ultimate uh, task, scientific task, mm -hmm. medical task, yeah. which is really anti-aging, right? Like reverse aging, reverse aging, conquer death. That's like yeah. the next ultimate thing is in medical science. Absolutely, conquering death, living till you're 200, 500 years Living till whatever you want. So we got movies coming out about this stuff. Mm -hmm. This is a very interesting topic. There's a lot of people in scientific journals that say, well, there's this jellyfish that lives forever. Yeah. Maybe we can learn something from that. Or salamanders. So that is something that's gonna be tested. I think this is the only possible way the zombie apocalypse could happen. Okay, so you're saying they're testing how to make people say grow their limbs back or anti-age? Yeah. Well, let's say they die yeah. and they they inject them with something and they come back. Oh, yeah. and now oh. they're now they're alive. Now they're alive, oh. but there's something off. The, the the whatever is off is giving them, them the urge to you know want to eat human brains, and All that's right. what then that's how it happens. That is uh, really plausible right there. Yeah. You you kind of just blew my mind. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Cause cause we talked about how we thought the zombie apocalypse would happen, right? And I, and I thought somebody would just uh, become in like berserk. But this is actually pretty plausible. You bring somebody back from the dead and everyone's like, cause there's that moment when you're like, is, is that you, is that you? And at first they're like, uh-huh. But then like, you know, in Wolverine, Phoenix is like, dude, everybody, like yeah. uh, Sam Winchester in Supernatural comes back without a soul. <sighs> so, but, but I don't know. I think I think if I love someone that much, I would want to bring him back, but yeah. I'd be a little wary. You would so be. I would be like I would be like maybe like if it's my wife yeah. or someone, I'll be like, yo, in the first year, yeah. I'm gonna go <laughs> sleep in my own room and keep my doors locked and have like sulfur and some holy water next just to me. Just in case. Just in case and some like and a dagger made out of some yeah. kind of holy metal. Yeah. And just in case, because if you come close to me in the middle of the night and you look scary. I'm not gonna stab so, you. So, so what's the point? You mean you wanna you wanna no, be you able to still, hug her and kiss her? He can. Yeah. yeah. In the daytime, out in public. Yeah. Yeah. And then she she basically bites you and you turn undead and that's how the zombie nah, She typically starts. won't bite you in a crowd, maybe. <laughs> so you're gonna play Dude. the odds on that one. Most Dude. likely, she might kill you at night when you're alone. So Dude. you gotta lock the doors. Put a little a little salt on the uh, door. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it because I think it's kind of selfish of me to want to bring somebody back. You don't know that. I don't know they that yet. They want to come back. They want to live forever, like that dude in Wolverine. That, that yeah, I was gonna, that, that old I was, Japanese dude. I was gonna what say. Is it? He was like, Wolverine, I can take your life so you can give me mine. Yeah, that guy's like a wacko. But guys, let us know what you would do in this situation. Would you want to bring someone back? Would you want to come back? All right, thanks for watching. See you.